You know, when we used to think of the word turtle, the first thing that came to mind would always be the ocean, or that turtles are slow. But now we can add another thing to the list of turtles, that there's going to be a city shaped like a turtle soon. We know you've got questions, so keep watching because in this video, we'll be discussing turtle city and more. First of all, what's the turtle shaped city? Saudi Arabia's dreaming big. It's practically shooting for the sky because soon enough, it'll be known for their new project, Pangeos, a giant floating city, or well, if if we're gonna be specific, a giant terry yacht that's in the shape of a turtle. It's a floating turtle shaped yacht. Like we don't even need to tell you why that's cool cause we won't get anything close to this anytime soon. This is what dreams are made of people. Okay, so our turtle super yacht, Pangeos, is actually named after the old supercontinent, Pangea, which existed about 200 to 335 million years ago. And get this, the terry yacht style project will provide space for up to 60,000 people. Plus when it's finished, it's going to be probably the the largest floating structure ever built. It's currently under development though, and is quite an ambitious project to pull off, if we might say so ourselves, cause it costs like $8 billion to create. The Italian design studio, Lazzarini, is heading the project, which, like we mentioned, is huge enough to fit 60,000 people. So according to the team, the structure is going to be twice the size of the Roman Colosseum. Wow, Lazzarini really said, go big or go home. The design studio had a dream and is working hard to turn it into a reality. Oh, and how did we almost forget the most important part. Pangeos is designed to sail non-stop around the world. Up next, what's the structure of the super yacht like? Lazzarini shared with Arabian Business that the floating city will be 1,800 feet long, in which the wings of Pangeos will be its widest point, measuring 2,000 feet. The terry yacht's infrastructure measures about 2,132.55 feet in width and 1,968.5 feet in length. The building's unique turtle-shaped design gives it easy access to the Sea, which is pretty smart thinking, right? And the guests on board will also have access to 19 private villas, 64 apartments, as well as several hotels, beach clubs, rooftop gardens, resorts, and shopping centers. But wait, there's more. It will also be equipped with built-in access to ship and aircraft ports. Wow. Okay, so from what we've established, the team for Pangeos is really good at their job. This sounds like a solid plan. Like when's the last time any structure had so much to offer entertainment-wise? And hello, it's floating Titanic who? Coming up, how will the city float? The man himself, Pierpaolo Lazzarini of the Lazzarini Studio, said the structure was imagined with sustainability and green energy in mind. He shared that the terrace structure will cruise at a speed of 5 knots, like 9.26 kilometers an hour, thanks to jet drive transmissions giving it a friendly push. And if you think that isn't enough for the giant turtle-shaped cruise, then don't worry, the team's got a backup. The rooftop area of Pangeos is lined with solar panels that'll provide enough backup clean energy to power the terry yacht. Oh, and during sailing, the large wings of the cruise will gain energy from the waves, causing Pangeos to cruise perpetually without emissions. Wow, looks like they really do have everything figured out. Well, it's not like they can afford any errors in calculation, right? One wrong zero and the city won't float anymore. It's gonna come crashing down instead. Um, <laughs> yikes. Here's to hoping the math adds up in the way it's supposed to. What's more, Prelude's finally got competition. Uh, what's Prelude? It's none other than the the current biggest floating structure to exist. Duh. Prelude is an offshore natural gas facility, and we're not gonna lie, it's big. Like 488 meters in length and 74 meters wide, if you want the exact deets. Shell's liquefied natural gas platform, one that floats, mind you, is located northwest of Australia's coast, with a life expectancy of at least 50 years. Prelude has plans to stay, y'all. The gas facility was commissioned in June 2019, and will stay moored at its current location for 25 years. What did we say about Prelude? Prelude staying put where it is, it's designed to produce 3.6 million tons per annum, aka MTPA, of liquefied natural gas, LNG for short, 1.3 MTPA of, of condensate, and 0.4 MTPA of LPG for export. So to keep it short and simple, it can produce a lot of liquefied natural gas. In fact, not just production, but also storage and transfer of LNG at sea. Plus, Prelude is Shell's first deployment of floating LNG technology that allows economic access to remote offshore gas resources and provides clean energy to customers all over the world. Wow, green energy really is the answer when we look to the future. Here's to hoping we don't find a way to misuse it. Moving on to the next segment, Dubai's breaking records with its hyper tower. New York Central Park Tower better watch out because it's no longer the tallest residential building in the world. The tower will be dethroned by Burj Bengali Jacob & Company residences. Dubai's newest skyscraper, the building, nicknamed the Hyper Tower, is a 100 
four-story structure located in Dubai's Business Bay and was constructed with only one goal in mind, to set the record for the tallest residential building. The Bengadi developer's official Facebook page stated the skyscraper has lavish penthouses and that too at the highest altitude of the building. Can you believe that the residential building is actually a collaborative project between Jacob & Co, which is well, to put it frankly, a jewelry giant in the industry. If you're excited by this news, then just wait till you hear how they've given their own touch to the residential building's design. Spoiler alert, the design plan is genius, like chef's kiss mwah level of genius. Following up, here's how the hyper tower is designed. Turns out that the building's major source of interior inspiration is none other than Jacob & Co's high watchmaking collections. That's so creative. The penthouses will consist of three types of watch collections, each named after the flagship Jacob & Co timepieces, Lord de Jardin, astronomer, and billionaire. So it's no secret that the penthouses have an aesthetic to die for if it resembles the iconic watch collections. And of course, the name itself suggests that the billionaire penthouse is the hyper tower's jewel in the crown. And how can we forget the fact that the building will, no joke, wear an actual crown? Uh, what? Yeah, that's right. Recent renderings of the tower show that the building will indeed wear a crown of diamond-shaped spires. Oh, wow. As you can see, the building is all about luxury, something that goes well with its image, seeing how it's the literal brainchild of Jacob & Co and Burj Bengali. Honestly, we wouldn't expect anything less from this dynamic, jaw-dropping business partnership. And last but not least, here's everything available in Hyper Tower, aka Burj Bengali Jacob & Co Residences, is packed from head to toe. The residential building has two and three bedroom residences, a dedicated concierge team that offers daycare services, a bodyguard, a chauffeur, a private chef. Certain reports stated that the towers also got an infinity pool, a lounging area, and an exclusive private club. When does this list end? A statement from Burj Bengali Jacob & Co Residences said that the proposed design of the skyscraper is of about 100 stories, and that at the top of the building will be five of the most luxurious and exclusive penthouses in Dubai, and obviously a bunch of pools and clubs. Again, cause it's not like having too many private clubs and pools in a residential building is a bad thing, right? Well, if anything, then the resident satisfaction surveys will be full of five stars. So we see this as a win, to be honest. Jacob Arabo, chairman and creative director of Jacob & Co, said the project offers boundless views of the city skyline that includes both downtown and the Dubai Water Canal. Wow, we don't know about you, but we wouldn't mind saving up for that view. The Bengadi developers described Hyper Tower on their website as a true work of art that will most definitely redefine the history of the real estate industry as we know it, and also bring along a new icon to Dubai skyline. Now, we would suggest that if you want to have the ultimate vacation, then save up to spend a few days at Dubai's unofficial Guinness Book of World Records breaking residential building. Well, when it officially opens up to the public, that is. Our point is, don't miss out, or you'll regret it. We know we would sure regret skipping out on a chance to spend time in Dubai. No, sorry, the world's tallest residential building. And with that, that's a wrap for this video. Would you want to be a passenger on the Turtle Terra yacht? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.